Hey, welcome back. This video is on Three's Company, Season 5, Episode 4, ABC's air date, November 25th, 1980. The episode called Downhill Chaser. This is a rare episode where their apartment isn't in any of the scenes, but this video is centering around the Q mishap. Who tells the actors what to do? The director. A director is a person who instructs actors in how to perform. Who calls cues? Stage managers. Stage managers facilitate communication across all creative and technical departments. Act as a right hand to the director. Oversees sets, props, lights, and sound. And call all technical cues during performances. Prompters cue actors who forget lines or stage positioning. Have you ever wondered on those indoor-outdoor scenes, how do the people on the outside know when to come in, so that the timing of the people inside, when they have finished their lines, the people outdoors come in at the right time? Oh, gee, guys, I'm afraid I can't make it after all. I'm sure most of you already know, but it's done with somebody giving the people the cue of when to come into their scene. You now know that person is the stage manager. Let's take this scene as an example. See the people indoors? They're speaking their lines, and when they finish their lines, in this case, the person outdoors steps in just at the right time to speak their lines. Soon, coming up, another example where the people on the inside are speaking their lines and just when the timing is right, the person on the outside come in, are greeted, and deliver their lines, keeping everything in a very flowing manner. Now, I picked these scenes specifically to see if you notice something I'm about to show you that you may not have ever noticed before in this episode. Once I point this out to you, you'll never see this scene again in the same way. So be warned to either close your eyes, look the other way, or push stop. And I've done it this way to give you that one last chance to see if you caught it this time. I, I just decided to turn right at the cliff halfway down the mountain. Okay, I showed that scene. Did you notice it? Let's put it on high magnify and watch it again. <laughs> and now once again in slow motion. Jack, you skied down that mountain? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Look at you. Well, I know. Oh, I'll be glad to see you, too. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry we haven't found your friend yet, but uh, we did find one of his skis. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's mine. Okay, I showed that scene. Did you notice it? Let's put it on high magnify and watch it again. Jack, you skied down that mountain? Well, I'm here, aren't I? And now once again oh, in that's slow that's motion. Fine. Sorry, we haven't found your friend yet, but uh, we did find one of his skis. Oh, oh, yeah, that's that's mine, officer. Yeah, it, uh, it, it it slipped off my foot halfway down. You can't believe how hard it was to go down that mountain on one ski. What, you had three skis? <laughs> three? Yeah, the other one's still in the tree. <laughs> oh, thank you for a uh, good job, officer. Uh, Jack, is there something you want to tell us? No, no, not really. Jack. Actually, I... I didn't exactly ski down the mountain. See, I, I sort of uh, uh, <clears throat> grabbed this tree and kind of uh, actually 
crawl down. <laughs> Let me give you some fun facts from this episode. God, that's hard to say. Actress Lorette Spain, who played Inga, is married to actor John McCook in real life. McCook would also later appear on Three's Company as Doug Cooper in the episode And Baby Makes Four, Season 5, Episode 17, and as Alan in the episode An Affair to Forget, Season 7, Episode 8. McCook and Third Wife Spain were married about 10 months before this episode aired and remain married to this day from 1980 to current date 2023. You might have noticed Suzanne Summers missing from the episode. Due to her contract dispute with series producers and ABC, Suzanne Summers refused to show up to rehearsals on this episode. Due to the fact that Summers had already missed two previous episode tapings, it was decided to limit her appearance on the show. Summers, from here on in, would be relegated to a 60-second tag sequence at the end of the show. That's show business. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll subscribe. Maybe even click that bell so you'll get notification of other fine videos I'll be putting out. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. For those who want their Susan Summers fix, here's the tag sequence from the next episode. And these were made by the studio to fulfill the end of her contract. Hello? Hello, Janet, is that you? Chrissy! Oh, I'm sorry, Christy, I must have the wrong number. <laughs> no, please don't hang up. It's me, Janet. How's your mom? Oh, of course, she's getting much better. Oh, good. She says with me around here telling her all about Santa Monica and the apartment and you and me and me and Jack and you and Jack and Jack and Mr. Furley. Well, she's forgotten all about the pain in her side. That's good. Yeah, except now she has a headache. <laughs> hey, Chrissy, guess what? Jack is starting a brand new job tonight as chef at a very posh restaurant. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't be there. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> well, I'm down to my last six bucks. Boy, I wish I knew somebody who owed me money that I could collect. Hey, I know somebody owes you money. You do, Chrissy? Who? Who? Me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, you're 300 miles away. Oh, that's right. Oh, I wish I was back at the apartment. You know, then all I'd have to do is find somebody to borrow $20 from, and then I could pay you back. <laughs> Is that a good idea? That's really a good idea, Chrissy. But where am I going to find somebody who can afford an expensive restaurant like that? And who doesn't have anything to do on Saturday night? And who is absolutely desperate for a date? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hang up, Chrissy. Your idea just walked in. <laughs>